Today, I fucked up by telling a major client it's nice to see their face whole. Obligatory, this happened this morning. A little background. I'm a pizza delivery driver, and once a month, this client orders like 100 small pizzas for their staff. We've been doing this for well over two years, so for the better part of that, we've all had to wear face masks. Mandates were lifted in my area last month, but they held out a bit longer, so the last time I saw them, we still had to wear face masks inside their facility. Today, there were no masks, and I meant to say it was nice to see their whole face, but it came out backwards. We laughed it off, but I'm genuinely embarrassed right now. While getting ready for my engagement party, father-in-law handed me his shirt and told me to iron it for him because I'm a woman. I ruined it. My father-in-law had traveled down to attend mine and my fiancé's engagement party. He was getting ready and staying at my house. I had my hair half curled and my makeup half done with not much time left. I was visibly rushing. He handed me his shirt and said iron this for me. Apparently, my vagina gave me the necessary qualifications for being the chief ironer. I took it off him with a smile and ironed the vinyl print on the highest setting and ruined his shirt. Melted the logo and got scorch marks on the shirt. Oops. Sorry, father-in-law. I didn't know why you thought I'd be good at ironing, but I'm terrible at it. I tried my best, though. He had to wear an ill-fitting replacement for my fiancé. He ironed that one himself. My father-in-law is a terrible, sexist man that abused my mother-in-law until she fled with her then-young children to a women's refuge center. There is absolutely no question that what he did was demanding I iron his shirt because I'm a woman and that this is what women do. No, I don't feel like politely declining. No, it's not my responsibility to teach him how to be less sexist. Am I the asshole for telling my husband I don't care what his preferences are? Disclaimer, this is not my story. I, 22 female, don't shave anything but my face. My husband, 23 male, also shaves nothing but his face. I don't shave mostly because I don't think I should have to. If my husband only has to shave one part of his body, then so do I. But it's also just such a hassle. It takes time in an already long shower. I have very long, very curly hair, and I don't want to do it. I used to shave very early into our relationship, but as we got comfortable in our domestic life, I was able to sit back and take a look at what's important to me. Shaving is just not something important for me to do. The other day, out of nowhere, while we were watching TV, my husband asked me why I don't shave. I really thought this would be a one-day type of thing, so I just said that I didn't think I'd have to. He asked me this before and I always gave him the same answer. It's not that I never shave, I'll shave occasionally during the summer when I don't want to deal with his friends asking me about it. I also trimmed my bikini line as well, but I was confident around my husband. When it was just the two of us, I felt comfortable going to the beach without shaving. Anyways, our conversation continued, we had a lot of back and forth, mostly consisting of the same thing in different wording, but I think his true intentions came out after a while. He told me he prefers shaven legs and that it's unattractive when women's legs aren't shaved. That totally broke me down. I felt ugly and gross, but also very angry. Out of a very emotional response, I told him that I don't care about his preferences for my body. I also said that I have preferences for his beard or his hair, but I wouldn't be upset if he decided to go against that preference. I told him it's fine to have preferences for my body, but to keep those preferences to himself because I don't want to hear them. He got really angry and yelled at me asking why he can't voice an opinion, but I think that some opinions need to be kept out of view. He apologized at the end, but I feel like such an asshole. He came to me crying because he felt so bad because he hurt my feelings. So am I the asshole? My husband won't stop texting his coworker and doesn't even bother hiding it from me anymore. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I said I mean on Instagram. My husband got a new job about a year ago. He finally started earning a lot of money and he really loves his job. I'm a substitute teacher, so at the time, we were really broke. We were desperate for one of us to get a better job. A few weeks after he started his new job, his boss threw a party so that we could all get to know each other. And this is when I met Karen. Karen right away came up to me and tried to make me feel like she was my best friend. She started talking to me about really personal stuff right away. In other words, she was trying to let me know that I could trust her because she was telling me her deepest darkest secrets but i don't fall for that kind of shit easily as the barbecue went on i kept noticing that she would talk to my husband a lot and my husband would reciprocate if he was at the bar she was at the bar if she was trying to grab food he was trying to grab food i called my husband out on it and he told me that they were really close friends at work and that she was basically his work wife i told him he needed to stop that real quick otherwise i would move in with my parents for the rest of the barbecue he behaved like a little lamb only two weeks later i find messages between them part two is up husband won't stop texting his co-worker and doesn't even bother hiding it from me anymore. Disclaimer is not always start time instead of me on Instagram. Two weeks later, I find messages from Karen on his phone. At that point, I had completely forgotten about Karen. My husband and I try to do date nights every single week. On this one occasion, we sit down at a restaurant and his phone kept going off, hanging almost every single minute. He wouldn't turn off the sound. Seventh time it rang, I decided to pick up the phone only to silence it. I mean, at this point, I have no reason to not trust him. But when I take a quick glance at the messages, it said work wife. My blood instantly began to boil. That's when he tried to take the phone from me 
but I pulled it back. I opened the messages and see that they were having a conversation about me and him going to dinner. And how jealous she was that she couldn't come with him? Mind you, we're sitting in the middle of a restaurant. That's when my husband says, go ahead and read it. I don't give a shit. I look at him and I couldn't recognize him. Like, I literally could not recognize his face. He looked like a different man. He was no longer the considerate, loving husband. He was now just some other guy texting another girl. As I read through the messages, the tears started flowing down my face. And I made a scene. I told him he needed to stop texting her. Then he says, no, I like her. Why would I stop? Part two is up. My husband won't stop texting his coworker and doesn't even bother to hide it from me. Disclaimer is not my story time instead of me on Instagram. That's when he told me that he liked her and why would he stop texting her? I actually had to sit there at the restaurant and explain to my 30 year old husband why it was inappropriate for him to be texting his work wife. He said they were doing nothing wrong by texting each other. That's when I told him that if he didn't stop texting her that he could forget about me. He said that there was nothing wrong with him having friends. I told him that friends shouldn't tell each other that they're jealous if they're going out with their wife. And he explained that it was just banter. And she loves playing at being jealous. Ew! Then he said this. Would you rather me hide the messages from you? My stomach sank. This man clearly does not understand that what he's doing is wrong. We've never had a problem like this before. We've been married three years and this has never been a thing. I got up from the restaurant and took an Uber home. Do you think he chased me? No. It wouldn't be another four hours until he got home. I asked him where he'd been and he told me that he was just chilling at the restaurant. For four hours? I asked him once again if he would stop texting her and he said no. That again, they were not doing anything wrong. But their messages were like boyfriend and girlfriend messages. Things like, what do you want for lunch this week? I miss you. I'm jealous that you're going to dinner with your wife. After he said no, I packed my overnight bag and I went to his parents' house. My parents lived two hours from me. I told his parents everything and they went over to talk to him right away. And they were pissed. His dad even threatened him to take him out of his will. His parents have my back and told me that I could stay with them. But instead, I went home to my parents. I also just found out that Karen has a boyfriend. Should I tell her man? Or should I just divorce my husband and forget the whole thing? What Whatevs. Am I the asshole for letting my neighbor's yards back up with sewage? I recently moved into a property that backs up to an HOA neighborhood. My yard is adjacent to about four of their properties. I'm not part of the HOA, and the road to my house is a small private road that runs parallel to their private road. So when I first moved in, the county told me that my trash pickup location was on their road. Mine's not a good spot for a trash truck to drive around, and after about two pickups, I found a note on my trash can with the usual HOA BS. Can't leave me, can't leave my can on their road or whatever. So whatever, I take my can to the end of the road and that works fine. Next, I tried to get a hookup with the gas because the electric heating is really expensive. The nearest gas line runs down their road and the utility is cool with it, but they blocked the construction. Fine, I install a tank and shortly thereafter, I get a note on my door saying that the noise from the installation was disturbing and that the tank is an eyesore. I buried the tank and you can't see even the cap from the HOA properties. That was that for about six months, except a few complaints of me mowing outside of the HOA designated mowing hours, but still within county hours, until a flatbed with a backhoe backs into my driveway. I walk out to see what's going on. Apparently the sewage connection from the HOA runs under my property. Something's clogged and they need to tear up the ground to get to the pipe and take a look. Long story short, apparently the builder had some kind of handshake deal with the previous owner about the sewer line that gave up a few bucks to let them run it through the property. No easement, no deed, nothing in writing, so I send the backhoe guy off. Next, HOA president comes knocking at my door and tells me the sewer is causing backup in several, several of the homes and no one can use their toilets, showers, run their sinks or anything until it's fixed and to rerun the sewer down the road instead of across my property is going to cost millions of dollars and it would take months to fix. I, <laughs> I said something like, man, that sucks for you guys. Hope you can get it fixed soon. Also, my sign says no trespassing. So if you could keep off my property, I'd appreciate it. Have a nice day. I got a letter from their lawyer with lots of threats, but a bit later, it didn't take much for them to be able to back it up legal legally, but I feel like they could take me to court if they want to. They've had some giant mobile poop tank stuck in someone's backyard for the past three months, and I see no signs of new piping. A few HOA residents have stopped by my house and were basically letting me know that it's unlivable without the pump and it would, and it, they can only take five minutes.